time to get your groove on and enjoy some of the hottest bands, some unknowns, and some well-known in alternative music. Midpoint Music Festival 13 begins Thursday in downtown Cincinnati and over the Rhine. Now, this year's concert runs Thursday, September 26th through Saturday the 28th. Includes 175 bands, 16 walkable and bikeable stages. And in this morning's Business Insight, we're joined by the Music Festival Artistic Director, Dan McCabe, to talk about what's new this year and what the festival brings to our region. Dan, it's good to have you with us. Brian, great to be back. Now, this happens each year right around the same time. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is kind of a fickle business, I'm sure, in the music yeah. business. How has the growth been maintained for Midpoint? Well, you know, Cincinnati is a great place to throw a music festival. We have a long tradition in embracing live music. Uh, it happens to be King Records Month this month. Oh. And at the, we've been able to, to kind of take ownership of the last week of September. For 12 years, it's what Cincinnati does. They go, it goes out, uh, folks go out, and, and they, they wade into Midpoint Music Festival and experience new music. This is a great time for the city of Cincinnati. I mean, you've got all the things that are going on between the Bengals, the Reds, Oktoberfest this weekend, and of course, Midpoint coming up later this week. What kind of economic impact do you think your music festival brings in addition to all the other events you talked about? Well, Midpoint Music Festival is and has been an investment in Over the Rhine. Uh, it's, it's held in downtown's oldest neighborhood of Over the Rhine. Over the Rhine, of course, has is, is, is grown as Midpoint has grown. And it's just a fantastic way to show off this city to the region. Folks come in, uh, merchants open early, stay open late, and uh, it's a huge, huge boost for that, that neighborhood. Yeah, this is video from last year, and I'm sure this year will be bigger and better. The fact that people are walking from mm -hmm. venue to venue, yeah. what difference does that make economically? Oh, well, first of all, it looks fantastic. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're down and over streets. the ride during, <laughs> during midpoint, you, know, you, you might be in New York City, for mm -hmm. all you know, uh, as long as you don't look up. And, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's very vibrant and successful exciting and uh, folks are seeing people that they hadn't seen in a long time it just has this energy to it and the merchants benefit from that it's not just stages at two ends of a field this is a uh, small businesses hosting and, and producing these these shows so as people are walking or riding their bikes they're obviously they're gonna stop and get something to eat something to drink yeah but are there other things maybe do do some shopping or at least get more familiar with some of the other merchants in that over the Rhine area oh yeah uh, the, you know, first of all the festival maps are very helpful. We, yeah. have, we put out a pocket guide on site. City Bee produces a, a festival guide that, that, is, that is distributed. Uh, so you get a good picture of Over the Rhine, where you are, and it makes it much more easy to come back to Over the Rhine after Midpoint and visit the shops and the restaurants maybe you didn't get to during the festival. This has been incredibly successful. What are you offering new this year? I know each year you have to kind of up the ante a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, each year we just try to do last year's festival better. better. And mm -hmm. uh, last year was the first year we used Washington Park. Uh, it had just opened. We were the first major event in Washington Park. We're excited to be back and we have a day party uh, ho hosted by the Breeders, uh, a great rock and roll band from this region on Saturday. Uh, tickets are still available specifically to that show. It runs early so we have earlier shows this year instead of we're still a three-day event but we try to use more of those three days each year and uh, that day party on Saturday at Washington Park is a good example of that. So is Washington Park your the center stage, or it is? Yeah, you could sure. call that. Yeah. yeah, you could call it that. The main stage is certainly our biggest stage, uh, where we have the opportunity to host uh, a lot of the attendees. We expect over 25,000 attendees this year, and uh, a big chunk of them could fit into uh, Over the Rhine's Washington Park. There was a huge investment made in Washington Park. This is a really great example of how that can be recouped, isn't it? Oh, my God, yeah. It is such a, a fun fun uh, uh, place to add to over the Rhine. Okay. We have information for you. If you'd like to get to the Midpoint Music Festival, check out the Midpoint Music Festival at mpmf.com. Dan McCabe with us. Thank you so much. Great luck with the festival this year. Looking yes, forward sir. to it.